we are going to be going through a trading breakdown. We're going to be looking at charts. You guys will see my super complicated, crazy trading system. But first, I got to get something off my chest because quite frankly, it's been making me super angry here the past few weeks. I am so sick and tired of seeing people come in the comments of my videos and tell me, Nick, Sean, you are the best support and resistance trader, the best break and retest trader I've ever met in my life. You are the true God. I have transcended my moral flesh and become a living God. And my bald head literally radiates brightness that it blinds everyone on my live sessions every morning. So I have to keep my camera turned turned off. I've turned it down and I've had to dim all the lights here in my room just so I don't blind you while you're watching this video because of my aura of greatness. Okay. I had to go to the gym today and I had to pump hundred pound weights on each of my arms for 100 sets just to be able to get out the aggressive frustration that I feel every time I have to scroll through the comments on my YouTube videos, seeing people saying, Nick, Sean, you've changed my life. I used to have a complicated trading system, but now I'm watching your videos and my system is simplified and I'm happy and I can make money trading and provide for my family without being glued to the charts 24 hours a day, five days a week and trading crypto both days on the weekends because I can't stand to miss a single trade. Nick, Sean, you have simple simplified my system and I'm now a happy person. I'm so sick and tired of seeing all the positivity guys. You guys aren't being tough enough on me. If, if you are happy, put it in the comments right now, just so I can get more frustrated and take it out in the next video. And if you're truly angry, none of you are really truly angry. I don't really see that many angry comments, but if you are angry, throw it in the comments too. It'll help the algorithm. Let's go ahead and get into this video. <laughs> so much for the satirical int uh, intro to this video, but um, for real though, I love seeing it really. I love seeing you guys post in the comments. It really I'm, I run Mission FX and I teach trading uh, for one to make money for two because it legitimately is fun. I love I have a blast doing one on one sessions with you guys doing live sessions with you guys group Q&A sessions that I do with Mission FX clients and close friends members. All links in the description for the things that I offer below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. GVP USD. I considered taking sales yesterday, but when spreads opened and, and uh, for first, why? Why the hell were you looking for sells, Nick Sean? Why are you looking for sells? Surely it can't be as simple as trading support or resistance. Here's why. It was a break of this low right here, which that was a support level, came up and found resistance on Friday. And then on Sunday, we came and started rejecting this zone. By the time spreads calmed down and I was able to find an entry, it was already down here. I like to enter deep into the zones. I don't like entering outside of the zone, so I just skipped the trade. I ended up missing a good 50 pips for the down move. So, you know, it is what it is. And then I missed this support right here. This bounce this morning. I was doing a live session with clients. So it is what it is. Whatever. All good. But uh, GU, what am I looking for now? Just a breakout. I'd like to see a break past this zone and then a pullback and test there for a bounce. Or I'd like to see a break below the lows and a retest that takes some sells. Super simple. Euro USD waiting on price to push up a little bit further to this four hour resistance zone. Then I'll look to sell off of it. GBP JPY. Wow, we actually broke past this zone. I'm waiting on GJ personally just to get higher up here into this major barrier. If we can crash into that resistance, I'll be looking for a sell. Not a huge bounce, just like a nice little bounce off of it. In this case would be 50, 60, 70 pips. By the way, I'm gonna be calling all my trades live in Telegram. If you would like a link to my Telegram channel, I'm not even gonna make you go through my free trading or anything. I will literally put it at the top of the description below. You can join my free Telegram channel and follow my analysis. I will be calling all my for all my trades to my close friends telegram group going forward, but I'll be sharing all my analysis in the telegram free channel that way you can kind of like, you're like, oh, okay, he's looking for sales on AU. All right. We'll be looking for sales on AU as well. It's going to be super simple stuff proving to you yet again. I've had 12 weeks of back to back profitability. Every single week has been profitable for the past 12 for the past 12 weeks um, in the close friends signals thing that I've been running. It's, it's so crazy because all I do is trade, trade support resistance. People literally do not believe it. Even though I've been doing it live for years, right? It, since 2018 in the Telegram channel. People still can't believe it. Like, oh, there's no way. Support resistance doesn't work. His stupid retail strategy. I'm like, okay, boys and girls, whatever you want to believe. Whatever you want to believe. I'll keep, I'll keep sitting here and trading support resistance like an idiot then. Whatever. It's fine with me. GJ, I'm looking for this. For USDJPY, same sort of thing. I missed a trade this morning just because it didn't push deep enough into the resistance, but we were looking for sells this morning. I called this out in the in the close friends group. AUDCHF, I was looking for buys, but I was on a live session, wasn't able to focus, so I didn't take this trade. Um, I set an alert just in case it tipped back further into this zone I could buy, but uh, that didn't work out, so I completely missed it. There was somebody in my close friends chat who took it. By the way, the close friends group, it's not like a Telegram channel. It's an actual chat where you can chat, like, you can actually like, you can type a message and you can chat with other members in the close friends group. Super cool, super interactive. Um, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. 
A hmm, couple things last night I thought we'd bounce here, but we didn't. So for now, it looks like price will be continuing to the resistance. Then I'll be looking to sell right there. So let me just set an alert here. A simple bounce of this resistance zone. Then we'll clean up all these other potential outcomes right here since they're no longer uh, potentials. Euro, Canadian dollar, I think we'll be continuing up, but this resistance zone has gotten sloppy, so I'm going to leave it alone. JBP, New Zealand dollar. Let's go to the four hour chart, make sure we're seeing the big picture here. I think we'll bounce downwards, but this zone is kind of sloppy right now, so I think I might prefer to just wait. I think we'll be pulling down from here, but I don't know. The resistance zone isn't super clear. Euro AUD, I'm still bearish for the time being. We really have in trouble making a lower low. Price has tried like three times, four times actually. One, two, three, four times. It still has failed. I'm going to set an alert just above the highs in case we break. If we break above the highs, it's a very simple trade. Just wait for it to come back and retest and look to get into a buy if it rejects. Um, and if that doesn't occur, I'm still kind of hell bent on this bias of like crashing below this support and then continuing to make lower lows. It's technically a good place to sell right now, but I'm scared because we have not, we ha we've had the opportunity to go down multiple times and have not. So that makes me kind of sketched out. Your GBP break and retest here at the daily zone. Just waiting on a retest, then my alert will go off. I'll be able to enter a trade. GBP CHF, maybe a sell at the resistance, but this resistance zone has gotten kind of sloppy. So I don't know if I'm going to take that. We've already tested one, two times. So I don't know. USD Canadian dollar, a break and retest here of this daily resistance level, just waiting on price to pull back to it. I'll go ahead and set an alert here right now, pretty deep into the zone. So that way, if it gets there, it'll alert me. We can take some buys. AUD USD. Mm, this zone's kind of getting kind of hairy. This zone's kind of getting kind of hairy and scary. I think this is actually the zone up here. So, uh, I'm gonna wait on AU. I'm gonna wait for something else. I'm gonna wait for a different opportunity. GBP CAD nothing. In fact, I'm gonna take this alert out. This just looks too, too sloppy. Way too sloppy. I'm just gonna wait on that one. AUD Canadian dollar sideways. New Zealand dollar JPY. Could have a little bounce here at the support, maybe. It might be worth a shot if price can get into here and then if it starts to flip around, go go to like a lower time frame and see if it's bouncing and then maybe get like a little bounce off that zone. Um, the major barrier is below here on the daily, this daily resistance zone right here, or su support resistance zone. Um, this will probably be the best area to look for like long-term swing trades. So we'll see, I'll see what happens when price gets there if it gets there I'll set an alert and we'll see if it sets up AUDJPY it's actually resistance zone sorta here's how I draw resistance zones I just draw the area where price is rejecting the most where there's like the most interactions of price data and then I just kind of like zoom in and kind of tweak it just a little bit to kind of get a feel for what the actual zone is in this case I don't really know if you were to hold a gun to my head and say, where is ADJPY going to go up next? That would say maybe bullish. But um, this, don't, this zone doesn't look super clear to me. It could be like up here and it could be testing as resistance to go down. I, I don't know. I'm going to leave this one alone. AD New Zealand dollar. Mm, perhaps a retest of this resistance zone turned to support. We'll have to see if this actually holds though. I'm going to wait to get some evidence, see if this bounces first. There's not that big of a pip range on this to trade. Well, 30 pips to the previous high, so maybe. Maybe a break of retest here on AN. CAD CHF, it's in a straight downtrend right now. I don't really see any clear levels coming up that are super clear. I would not be touching buys right now on this. And uh, I don't know. I'm just going to be waiting on that one. CAD JPY coming into a zone. Looks a lot like New Zealand dollar JPY. A little bit lower into the zone. And then if it starts to reject, some bounces would probably be pretty cool. For this to come back up, get a little bounce off the, off of the support zone. Euro JPY. I was considering taking sells if we came back up to here, but now the fact that we've kind of ranged and gone sideways for a little bit, this makes it a little bit sketchier. Because if we do come up to test that zone right there, we'll be making a higher high compared to this little previous high right there. So I think I'm gonna leave. I don't know. I'll, when the alert goes off, I'll I'll probably look at it and see if it starts to reject. But if there's momentum flying up through it, I'll probably just leave it alone. Euro CHF, it's at a support zone. It had a bounce at the support zone. Now we're coming back up to, I'm just gonna wait for this resistance area here in the four hour. Euro New Zealand dollar. Oh, what do we have here? Boys and girls, we got a little bit of a resistance zone right here. Somebody called this out in my close friends group this morning. 
I did not think this was clear enough. I, I, I will admit that the resistance zone looks like it's right here and the rest of these look like liquidity spikes past the zone. But when, if you've got a zone like that where there's a lot of liquidity spikes, it just makes it more of a pain in the butt to try to trade it because then you have to make sure that you're encapsulating all of the highs, like all the way up to there. I just I don't want to play that game. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to worry about like, well, should I enter here? Should I wait for the tip top? What if it goes past it? There's just too much stuff that can go wrong. I just I like the more better defined zone, so I'm gonna stay out of that one. GBP AUD. I don't really see anything right now. New Zealand dollar CHF. I don't see anything. It's in a downtrend. Same thing on New Zealand dollar USD. Nothing. USD CHF. Okay, we've got a potential resistance zone coming up here. This is the stuff I like when it's nice and clean and there's not a lot of like BS that happens around it. Those ones you'll normally get like nice little bounces off of them. You don't have to be a hero and try to hold for like the whole range all the way back down 400 pips. All I'm saying is like if it gets to the zone, there's probably going to be profit taking. And if you're just in a trade to just capitalize on a little bounce of the zone, even if it's just like a one to one risk reward or, you know, just like small profit taking. If you go in heavy on lot size and then monitor it, if it starts breaking the zone, just get the hell out. Just leave it alone. You get a one hour candle closure above the zone. Get out. Take a small loss. But if it starts moving into profit quickly, you're in with heavy position sizing, heavy volume, and you're normally going to get like that first little like zip off the zone. Like in this case, like that first little like push away was like 80 pips right there. Then it came back and tested and had like a 300 pip move. It's cool. You, you don't have to catch the whole move. Like you don't have to be a hero. Just catch the catch the nice little like push whenever you get in the nice easy push and do it with high volume. That way you can compound up your account quicker. Makes it so much easier. By the way, if you do want to learn how to compound your, your account very quickly using my simple support resistance system, I teach it all in the Mission FX compounding course. There will be a link below in the description. Um, gold, I don't know. I don't really trade gold, but I like watching the price chart just because I'm an investor in gold and silver long term, physical gold and silver. And same thing on silver, so nothing here. NAS, I don't trade uh, I don't trade NAS that much unless I'm scalping if we've got a lot of momentum. But... Um, yeah, I don't see anything here. But that was the FX analysis. So hope this was useful for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to enjoy yourself today and have a great day. And make sure that you drink a lot of water for your health. And make sure that uh, you exercise to make sure that you're staying really nice and like lean and like sexy and muscular. Look at this. I've gained I've gained like uh, like 40 pounds since I started working out at the beginning of this year. I've been working hard. I've been aggressively pursuing it since I switched up my diet. It's been like nine months. I'm feeling really good. I've never felt better. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm loving life, I'm killing it in trading, I'm loving working with my clients. Things have just been so good. You should join us. Hopefully I'll see you in Mission FX. Click the links in the description below. Check, check out some stuff at Mission FX. Give me your money. Join Mission FX. Let's make some money trading. Cheers, everyone. Bye.